What up? What it do? It's your boy JDQ with Vision Eye TV Shorts, and in today's episode, the headlines read: Nicki Minaj isn't a fan of body positivity if it means unhealthy bodies. Before we get right into it, I'd like to remind you guys, as always, if at any point in time this channel, this content, or myself have informed you, entertained you, blessed you in any way, shape, or form, uh, please consider looking at that scrolling banner below me. There's multiple options for you to bless us through those options, all right? Uh, you don't have to, but if you can and want to, it's just different ways of helping helping the channel move forward, helping, helping me and my family move forward. Um, so yeah, there's those options are there for you if you want to bless this channel. Um, that being said, let's get right into it because we do try to deliver this type of news within five minutes or, or less. Can't talk today. So it says here, uh, and the article is by sparkchronicles.com, uh, you know, all credit to them. Uh, it says here, Nicki Minaj slammed the mindset of pro-obesity activists like Lizzo who glorify unhealthy lifestyles under the banner of body positivity in a new interview with Vogue. In the magazine's cover story for the December issue, Minaj, four years old, spoke about how she's now at peace with her body after spending years being what the paper described as an exponent of body positivity since the beginning of her career. I just looked at the at a video from when I was 25 and I would effing pay to watch like that right now. Pay to watch like that. I think she means pay to look like that right now. But anyways, the singer said, uh, but today I can say that I'm at peace with who I am and how I look. Minaj qualified her comments about acceptance at every size with a tactic, uh, tacit criticism of the contemporary models who promote a movement that now glorifies gluttony. I have to say this as a black woman, though. She said, I've made certain choices for my son to not give him sweets and candy and juices because of illness like diabetes that run in our community. I'm not in favor of body positivity if it means unhealthy bodies, Minaj added. That's bull. It's not believable, so let's stop pretending. I'm with you right there, sister. Minaj also spoke candidly about a recent breast reduction. I love it, she said. I used to want a bigger butt, and now I look back and realize how silly that was. So love your curves and love your non-curves. There's nothing wrong with any of it. The message stands in stark contrast to the one promoted by Lizzo, another black female icon in the music industry who's made body positivity a hallmark of her career. Throughout her rise to stardom, Lizzo's celebrity has been defined by efforts to redefine cultural norms by glorifying obesity. Her Instagram has long featured the supersized singer sipping on beer and capitalizing on gluttony with twerking videos that are borderline pornographic. In April, Lizzo partnered with Dove Soap for the brand's self-esteem project. Dove also features a corporate campaign to end body size discrimination and is owned by Unilever, uh, one of the nation's largest food processors that's behind brands like Ben & Jerry's ice cream. Lizzo has routinely chastised critics of her activism. In October last year, the singer responded to rapper Kanye West's remark that the outright promotion of obesity is the demonic. Whether someone thinks it's attractive, West said, to each his own, but he added, it's actually clinically unhealthy, and for people to promote that, it's demonic. It's true. Lizzo responded to the comments at a show in Canada. I feel like everyone in America got my mother effing name in their mouth, mother effing mouth for no mother effing reason. I'm minding my fat, black, beautiful business, she said at the concert. Lizzo's activism, uh, meanwhile, is doing no favors for people who struggle with unhealthy weight, nor is it helping black Americans who she claimed at last year's MTV Video Music Award are oppressed. According to the Centers of uh, for Disease Control, the CDC, uh, black adults suffer the highest age-adjusted prevalence of obesity. Nearly 50% or half of us, uh, I mean, us, U.S. black adults are categorically obese. Black Americans also suffer the highest prevalence of diabetes. By making healthy choices for her family, Minaj is doing far more to fight for black lives than Lizzo's misguided body positivity shtick does. Um, but yeah, 
So, although I'm well aware that uh, Nicki Minaj is just an industry puppet, um, you know, aside from all of that, um, there's always got to be little small troops here and there within their careers. And this is one of those moments where she is actually saying the truth. I mean, uh, of course, yeah, love your body, but take care of your body. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, try your very best, like, eat as healthy as you can. I know it's not, like, something easily obtainable nowadays because everything is, like, most things are processed. And even things that are supposedly organic aren't really organic. Um, and if they are organic, they're still been messed with in some way, shape, or form. So I know it's not the easiest thing to do nowadays. However, you know, a balance between like a somewhat healthy uh, lifestyle, right? Uh, watching what you eat. If you can make things yourself as much as you can, uh, instead of like relying on like stores and companies to do it for you. But also like lots of exercise, you know, make sure that you just uh, balance, live like a healthy, balanced uh, lifestyle as best as you can. Um, but of course, love your body. Just always try to, you know, better your body at the same time, if that makes sense. But anyways, those are just my thoughts and my opinions. I would love to hear what you guys uh, have to say or think in the comment section below. Please let me know. I am genuinely curious what you guys have to say about all this. Uh, are you for body positivity, no matter how that looks? Or are you for realistic uh, body positivity within like, you know, the actual legitimate, like taking care of your body side of things. Uh, anyways, that's all for this show. This was JDQ with Vision Abu TV Shorts. Um, and as always, uh, if you can bless myself, the channel or my family through some of the options that I've listed in that scrolling banner below me, I highly appreciate it. You don't have to, but if you can and want to, the options are right there for you to bless us through. Um, peace out. Stay blessed and safe out there. And until next time.